Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are on part 17 of the Sims Medieval series. Um, so last part we played with Ambrosius, and this part we actually are playing with Donovan the Wizard. So I already actually went in and picked the quest. Um, I did have a intro recorded, but it didn't come out the way I wanted to. The microphone was a little wonky, so I'm just re-recording the intro here. So we didn't really start. We just picked the quest, so it's Ye old Magic Show. Uh, medieval life was not all puppies and rainbows. Much more often it was endless, back-breaking toil. Actual puppies were quite rare, and rainbows were, were called watcher's frowns, and were feared as terrible omens. It was important, even vital, for the people to distract themselves with spirited entertainment to escape the drudgery of daily life. Even the Wizard of Sunspire needed a break from routine every now and then. Therefore, a spectacle of magic and mysticism would be held to enthrall the people of the kingdom. It would be the night Sunspire would never forget. So our primary hero is Donovan, and our secondary hero is actually the bard. So yeah, so let's get this part started. Alright, so we're going into live mode. I need to be sure there are ample beverages available and that the bar is as spotless as can be. Alright, so Donovan, show the spells prepared by Adept Donovan. Um, <laughs> study spell? And Minstrel Jared. Um, I'll need a good assistant, someone to look flashy and distract people from the mechanics of the trick. I should test this person's magical affinity as well. A spell of energy, light, and air should do the trick, so to speak. Um, energy, light, and air. So growth, I'm thinking. So, let's go back. Where is he going? Oh, there's his little daughter. Prepare a spell, I think. Um, let's go see Menstrual Jared. Energy, light, and air. We need... Energy, light, and air. Okay, perfect. He needs to brew, brew drinks in the tavern cask and draft three pamphlets of for the show at a scribe table. So we probably have to go to what? <laughs> Failed the spell. Maybe because he's not in good focus right now. Go ahead and brew that. I'm thinking we have to go to the throne room perhaps to use the scribe table. Or I think also the Jacobin priest has a scribe table we can borrow. Um Some ale will be fine. Excuse you guys, but I guess he doesn't really need a bed to sleep in. Why don't you come bother her, because you're in a bad mood? Ick, I almost brewed a heady dust mite vintage. When was the last time this place was swept? Sorry, little Bridget. Shy kiss? Bestow favor? Maybe a little makeout will get rid of this moodlet. Oh yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay, you can go back to sleep. Show the spells prepared by Adept Donovan. Thought we did that. Sweep the floor of the tavern. It's pretty late actually. Okay. I might actually, I know he doesn't um, need to sleep, but it'll probably be until like early morning we could put him to sleep and Donovan, so looking for a fight. Shady Riley, I think that's a spy, or is it? Let's just have a s little fight, fist fight. Get rid of that moodlet. Oh my. Exposed to sickness. Yeah, I didn't think he would win. All right, I'm going to put him to sleep. So he's only going to be sleeping until 4.30, but... And he's already meditating, so he's sleeping. So I will see you guys when one of them wakes up. So I'll be back soon. All right, so Jared is up already. 
I'm going to have him sweep the floor. That looks like it's one of his things to do on the quest. And then I'm going to send him either... I, let's send him to the Jacobin um, Cathedral. Let me just check that scribe table, I think. Yep, so he can go there instead of the throne room and write the pamphlet. Pamphlet. Ah, uh, pamphlet. I can't. He can go there after. Why isn't he a, lost a friend? Lost a fist fight? Oh gosh, was that his friend? Yeah, it was. Whoops. I put him in an even worse mood. Oh, he's still tired. Now I can spend some time practicing the loot. Best not leave anything to chance and purchase extra strings for my instrument before I begin. Oh, and on his way back he can go to the village then. You're gonna be hungry. Let's have some flatbread. And then we can try and prepare this spell again. Alright. Did he write that? Oh, he has to write another one, doesn't he? Or three. So let's do that. Okay. Energy, light, and air, I think it was. Or study spells? No. Maybe he's in a better mood? Okay. He failed again. Word about the show has been spreading like a grass weed fire, but extra advertising never hurts. I shall deliver pamphlets to two influential members of Sunspire, Lady Molly the Great and Town Crier Colin. Man, he is really busy. <laughs> Let's go to the village shoppy first, I think. Right? Yeah. He's gonna go there, buy premium loot strings from the village shop. He'll do that. He already went to the lavatory or the pot, searching from lack of faith. Hopefully that puts him in a better mood. Research, no. All right, items, premium loot strings. I'm guessing that's what he needs. Let's get that. So he got that. Play a practice song on the loot for 30 minutes. Deliver. All right, let's extend. Or not extend. Um, Where is this guy? Maybe he can become friends again because he's in a bad mood because... Apologize. Go apologize. <laughs> Ask about health. Gossip. Get to know. All right, so... Whistling pixies. It's like a bug buzzing around in your sinuses. A very big mischievous bug. Wow. I feel like he's always getting sick from his wife. Craft item. Scry? Let's try one more time. Maybe you'll let us do it. This is getting kind of annoying. Energy, light, and air. Why do we keep failing? Do we need to maybe study energy, light, and air? Study spells? No. He must. He probably needs to be in a really good mood. I don't know anymore. Let's do a random one. See if anything pops up. Well. See, Mystic Grog, I think, was the one we needed to deliver. Maybe if we do that, be in a better mood. What kind of assistant would be best? I believe a lovely lass shall be my assistant. A dashing gentleman would make a perfect partner. Probably get the gentleman since he's married and make sure his wife isn't jealous. <laughs> Not that she would need to be. Well, he is licentious, but... All right. Be inspired by three people, write two poems. Okay. Ooh. Enemy. Who's your enemy? Oh no. I forgot that I made an enemy. Ask for inspiration. Go 
go ahead and ask for inspiration you should go deliver that mystic grog let's take that marker off he's getting hungry too did I make that grog a bit too strong? Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, he needs three people, I think. Where'd he go? Where are you going? It's fine. Ask this person for inspiration instead. Alright, maybe if he tries now, he's in a little bit better of a mood. Ask for inspiration from good woman Samantha. And then he needs to have some food. He needs to go home and make something to eat. God, it's, it gets harder when you have more than one hero to look after. Um, Alright. Let's try this again. He's still in a bad mood. Energy, light, and air. Oh my goodness, he failed. This is ridiculous. Um, why don't you come research for a little bit? Maybe... I'll give you a good okay he's already making food a good mood lit come write poem two poems and then he will go off and deliver his messages um food and drink sport theme um the game ahead i have no idea but we'll go with it he's almost done yep so i did give him a little bit of an extra boost come here <laughs> do this again maybe or he already bathed yeah let's not do that again okay love theme watcher theme um love before the vows i'm just making these names up <laughs> as i go All right, and we do need to prepare these spells, two of them at least, just for responsibilities. So it's important we get this done. He's focused, so I don't understand why he keeps failing. Energy, light, and air. He failed again. Okay, I'm doing something wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. light and air why can't you do this is it because of your sickness okay he's heading off to deliver formal invitation he failed again I'm losing my mind what is wrong with him scry well he reached level 4 of his wizard career. I've heard about the show, of course. I cannot promise I'll be able to attend, but if you speak with Royal Advisor Rose, see that she tries to schedule in an appearance. Okay. And then probably could head off to the other person. Where is his wife? I can't. Of course, she's all the way over here. Um, let's go deliver that pamphlet.
Um, let's go bother her <laughs> for a quick second. Oh, prognosticating? What? <laughs> okay. Got rid of that. Okay, so he's pretty focused now. This doesn't work. I don't know. Energy, air, and light. Finally! He did it. Prepare a spell. Light, energy, air. Let's try again. Energy, air. Show this spell is prepared by Adept Donovan. It's not showing up as it's prepared. I'm getting confused. Um, he needs to play a practice song on the lute. Perform song? Practice? He's earning less money than he could. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Energy, air, light. Hmm. Let's see what happens if we do that. Well, that was already known. Okay, I'm getting confused now. Don't mind me. Oh my god. I didn't scroll down. But, force air. Spirit thief. Vanish. Air, light, force. Air, light, force. Let's see. Oh, that worked. What do you mean you can't memorize any more spells? Show the spells prepared by... Oh my god. All I had to do was... Click on him. I'm losing my mind, guys. Alright. I'm gonna have him make some of that. Hmm. This spell has promise. I'm using it as a simple parlor trick, but if I can devise a safe way to travel instantaneously to any location, just think of the possibilities. I'd never lose a flower sack ra race again. Everything is in order, mostly. I must prepare the proper spells. A bit of fireworks, a vanish, and magical tune spell should be flashy enough to entertain the crowds. Also, I should practice escaping from the stocks for a real showstopper. Okay. Looks like he finished what he needed to do, at least. He is in a bad mood because of this uh, looking for a fight. Let's see. He can maybe fight someone that's not a friend. How about Ronaldo? I'm sorry, Ronaldo, but I need to get rid of this moodlet. Oh, and he won. Nice. Alright, going back to Donovan. He's almost done eating. Hopefully this goes away. He still needs to prepare that one spell. I hope he can before that. Travel to the stocks. Ask oh yeah, I have to stop to do that. We can research since we're already here. So he's gonna do that. Just gotta check out what Jared is doing over here. He's in a very good mood. Surprisingly. Bloodthirst quenched. Want a fist fight? Crisp ale. Well, he's pretty much free for now. Doesn't have to really do anything. Alright, it's so simple. Why did I not think of this before? If I couple an energy rune with fire, then finish with a bit of light, I can make a dazzling light show to cast for the grand finale of the show. So energy, fire, lights. Flare spell. Hopefully we can do it. No, we cannot. All 
right, well, let's go focus on the other things we need to do. Judgment zone. Let's go over here, find some people to ask to be our assistant. Town crier Colin, let's not ask him. There really isn't anyone. Oh no, prepare to be arrested. Maybe I did this too soon. Not good. Well, well, I'm free from the socks, but the trick did not go as smoothly as I'd hoped. Perhaps I should save this for the next show and avoid getting pelted with eggs and rotten produce altogether. Wonderful. Why don't you ask to apply? Okay. Two more men. Oh, we could send our child shopping to the village. Um, we need more. Oh, there we go. Ask to apply. Ellen. We need more men here. And ask this one. Oh, we're gonna have to get home and see if we can sh try and prepare. She did make it there, nice. We can get some food, I'm thinking. So maybe a foul meat, some tench, trout, pigeon is pretty cheap. That's good enough. Alright. And then he's going to go home. He's already making himself food, so that's good. And try to get this spell prepared. Hopefully before the responsibility goes out. Oh no. Or maybe I have to forget a spell. Let's see. Do I have to? Prepare the magic probe. Prepare the flare spell. Let's see if this works. Welcome, gentlemen. First, thank you for expressing your interest in the assistant position. The performance will be talked about for a long time coming, and one of you will be part of it. Now, if you'll allow me, I am going to cast a spell that will test your natural affinity magic. I promise it won't hurt a bit. Let's see if I... If I forget a spell, it'll let me memorize a new one. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so we need to... I don't even see flare on here. Okay, so we do need to cast a magic probe. Energy, light, air. Energy, light, and air. Oh, sh <laughs> Why did I do that? Energy light and air and it might not work because he's not in good mood I forgot about that oh nice okay he got that in the nick of time um they're probably gonna stay here until tomorrow because I'm gonna put him to sleep I'm gonna go bother her quick again to make sure he's not in a bad mood all right so I'm gonna put him to sleep I swear to god it's always her exposing him to sickness it has to be Sheila Okay, I'm going to put him to sleep. He's already sleeping, so I will see you guys when they're both awake. Alright guys, so they're both awake. I just sent Jared into the village to pick up Assistant's outfit. Um, Donovan is finishing his food. And he's going to talk to these um, applicants. While walking down the street, Minstrel Jared heard some crying down an alley. Glancing that way, he saw a small and very dirty child crying by a gutter help her perhaps a child had simply lost her mother the only way to know was for minstrel jared to ask what was wrong worthless children like this were everywhere if one were to stop and help every single one in distress nothing would ever get done let's try and help her oh no the child explained that she had lost her only toy down the gutter and she couldn't reach it because her arms were too short wrinkling his nose jared got on his stomach and reached so shoulder deep into the gutter and what was when 
And that was when the little twerp ran up and kicked Jared in the face before running away cackling at her clever joke. Oh no. Minor wound. Well, that's fine. Oh, let's view her inventory because I think she has... Yep. Take all. That's a cool little trick that we have in the game. Ask her how she fares. Tell a story. I guess that's good enough. We're gonna have him use take bath because it looks like he's gonna be in a bad mood again from being sick. Alright, he should go home. And then he can come talk to them. Alright, what am I doing? Um, oh, cast a spell. Cast magic probe. I need to see this happen. Ooh. Cool. Uh, that spell is not going to affect my uh, abilities in any way, is it? You know, because I was hoping this job would excite some of the more impressionable audience members. Let's see. I barely felt anything at all. Did you do it right? Maybe next time, add fog. People really like fog effects. Or some fizzy sparkles. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and one more. Oh, he get a he got a moonlit from playing with Bridget. Or he just talked to her, but that's okay. Nice. So if I get the job, can you help me learn a simple cantrip? Nothing fancy, but you can turn people into frogs, right? There's this guy I owe some money to. <laughs> oh, I don't think I want that one at least. Um, let's go with Alan. Why not? And I don't because I don't want the town crier. <laughs> you shall be my assistant. Sounds good to me. I need to go back and write a delightful short play. Delightful short play. So maybe comedic play? I believe I have found my assistant who will remain with me for a little practice before the show. For the others, thank you and I will make sure there will be some seats reserved in your names. Um, how about art theme, food, and food? <laughs> um, wine, sh shoot, and dine. <laughs> Very original. How about a noble costume? Sounds good to me. Alright. I'm coming back here now. Instruct assistance in preparation for show. So let's instruct him. And then we gotta figure out about this flare spell. Did he already do that? Or did he just ignore us or something? Alright, we'll be back when we figure this out. Vanish? Wait, what did we need? <laughs> Flare spell. Energy plus a bit of fire and light. Energy, fire, light. Energy, fire, and light. Let's see if this works. Oh hey, it did. I dub the flare. It is a plucky little spell that could be handy even when I am not enthralling the masses. I shall have to remember that rune combination for later study. Alright, let's go and try to do that again. He's almost done with his play. Pedaxes gather inspiration. Alright. Excuse me, sir. Uh, you will be an integral part of the show. I'll need you to charm the crowd to the total distraction. I've arranged special outfit tailored for you. Oh, and he reached level 6. Oh, Jared reached bard level 6. Nice. Um, let us come craft this 
Allure Elixir. Perfect. And then we'll pay our taxes. He also needs to pay taxes. He's already going to eat. Well Rage. I'll let him eat and then he could take measurement maybe. Get that done. Perfect. Give Alpha to the assistant. Sure. Get that done. Alright, the time had finally arrived for the much-anticipated magic show. Adept Donovan and Minstrel Jared completed their last-minute preparations just as eager citizens began to gather. The only thing remaining was to bring the magic and put the performance of a lifetime. Okay, before we do that... Pay taxes. Gather information. I just need to get all this done. Did he... Yeah, he did. Give the elixir, and then he's going to pay his taxes and get this vanish and magical tune spells prepared. Gather inspiration. He'll do that. I might need to send him to the docks to express his whale rage. Where is he going? Where is this person? Oh wow, and he's tired. All right, why don't you pay taxes right here, quick? Maybe his wife is nearby. Oh, it was on. Oh, she is, she's right there. Don't mind me, I'm already sick. You've given me a sickness, I'm sure I'll be sick again. Get that done. Oh, he didn't pay taxes. He's almost done with that. Yeah, I'm going to send him quick to the docks because tipped on him. Oh, that's why. All right, go away. He is tired. Pay your taxes. Go home and prepare those. And then I'll have him come back over here when he's done. Cannot memorize any spells. Let's see what we can forget. Oh no. Why can't I remember more? It's curious. Like, do we have to expand our knowledge or something? He's like really tired. He's gonna come make food and maybe meditate for a little bit. It's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna have him meditate. So I'm gonna make sure he is not too tired. Um, he's already back at the square. So I am gonna maybe go off recording for about an hour or two in sim time and I'll be back when he is awake. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, so I am waking him up. I am thinking I have to forget a spell to memorize or prepare Vanish and Magical Tune. We have Vanish. We need Magical Tune. Um, I feel like we need those though. Hold on, I am so confused. Force, air, energy. Let's forget growth. Force, air, energy. Force, air, energy. All right. Music made with magic? Why not? It requires another audio source to replicate. That's where Minstrel Jared comes in. However, I feel with more experimentation, experimentation, I could perfect the spell to make music anywhere without assistance. All right, so we're finally ready to go to the town square. All 
See, he already, yeah. Talking to Molly. Friendly. <laughs> I was like, well, what am I doing? Honor of friendship. Read advertisement for the show out loud. Let's do it. After he honors his friendship. I will open the show with a simple trick to get the audience attention before I wow them with a true display of magical might. A bit of sleight of hand should pique their in interest. To wait until he's done with that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I bid you all welcome to an unrivaled event in ent entertainment and mystery. Prepare to be awed and amazed by a spectacle that is truly out of this world come for the mysticism stay for the music without further ado i proudly present the first ever ye old magic show sleight of hand as i make money appear in the most unlikely places um Hmm. How do I do this? I don't know. Interesting. Um. Would that have to do with growth? No. Funny. Oh, perform sleight of hand. Maybe that's what it is? That took me longer than needed. Yep. <laughs> a good opener to get the crowd clamoring for more. Time to follow the follow that up with a mysterious wardrobe change and put my fetching assistant to good use. Make clothes disappear. Wow. Play the lute on stage. Um, maybe it doesn't matter if he's on stage or not. Restring. Who was that? Perform song. Play loot. There we go. Ballad of Sir Joffrey. Accompany Minstrel Jared with a magical tune. Um. Maybe that's what I do. Yeah. Let's do it. I hope this works. Wow. Where is everybody? It's probably too late now. Alright. We did it. <laughs> I like the dancing. Oh, he's dancing too. Cute. Beautiful job, Jared. Beautiful job. Alright. So, no ta- oh, there we go. Vanish from the town square. A flare, I guess? Now to up the ante, show the crowd some true magic with disappearing act. I hope that's the right one. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Yeah, he did not vanish. <laughs> oh, we don't have... Oh. Oh, I get it. Oh, he's really tired. Let's vanish over here. 
I'm sorry. You have to do this. I know you're really tired. Here he goes. Pretty cool. And he's gone. Now to return to the town square for the big finale. Oh, again. Perform a play on stage. Go ahead. Wine and dine. They're both not in a start the play. Recruit actor, recruit actor. Wait, you can get some sleep right now. Quick. Meditate. I know, they're both in a bad mood now. Sure. Start the play. Oh yeah, they're nobles. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Guys, watch the play. Well, he did it. <laughs> Cast flare for the firework. Oh, we already did that. Alright, let's do it quick. <laughs> They're gonna be so unhappy with me. Alright. I hope that's the end. <laughs> they both need uh, sleep and food. He's already going home. Oh my god, they're both, um, what do you call it? Share whale story. <laughs> Discuss whale hunting. They both have that same trait. Um, the whale ate my parents. Okay, so we completed the quest. Awesome. And it looks like both of them got to the next level. So Donovan is on level 6 of the wizard and Jared is on bard level 7. So that's really cool. The magic show was tremendously successful. Not only did it delight fans of magic, but it managed to convert many non-believers who thought it was all a bunch of simple tricks and nonsense. Popularity soared for both Magus Donovan and Minstrel Jared and much to the bard's delight many people were already asking when the next show would take place i didn't even notice that his name um title changed so that's really cool magus donovan so yeah so that was fun um so it looks like our knowledge is very high and culture we'll have to focus on well-being and security next um so maybe we can add a mill so that's really good for well-being i think it's because the only ones left is the mill and the watch pavilion which that one would be fine too but i think the mill is more useful so let's add a mill and that would make our kingdom a keep so we're at the highest so that's nice um and then next time when we get more resource points maybe we can add another territory or two to our map so yeah so i'm gonna end this video here or this part here <laughs> um so next part maybe we can focus more on well-being and maybe hopefully we can focus on the spy or jacobin priest i keep forgetting to actually take a look because i didn't show what the spy quarter looks like if nobody like uh, played sims medieval before so they actually have a really cute um bedroom here and then upstairs, the torture chamber. <laughs> There's some skeleton in there, poor guy. Or woman, who knows. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show that quick, because I didn't show that yet. So, yeah, so I will talk to you guys in the next part. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And yeah, so thank you. Bye-bye.